Good morning and welcome back to WKNI TV 25. Boy, I'll tell you what, what a very nice interview we had just a moment ago with Mr. Len Williams. And, and if it wasn't for this gentleman sitting to my left here from LBW, Dr. Rydell, uh, I would never have met this guy. And uh, we thank you for coming on. Well, it's good to be here, Eddie. It's always good. And uh, I did want to say something about Dale Carnegie. And Len Williams is a good friend and LBW's partnered now for a couple of years with, with Dale Carnegie. We've had a number of our um, employees go through the program. Um, the reason I feel so strongly about it is because I went through Dale Carnegie training over 30 years ago and it has just made a huge difference in, in my life you know, in terms of relating to people, self-confidence, being able to speak publicly with, without fear of public speaking. And it's just helped me open up. I've seen what it's done for myself, and I would like other people to have that benefit. Well, I'll tell you, uh, the way I've seen it on a first-person level through my brother, and uh, he was very successful. He's a lot older than I am now, <laughs> but my older brother. Uh, he actually just retired a couple, but three or four years ago, I guess it was. He is actually the vice president of Southwest Airlines. And, you know, that... that moved him on up obviously through because he he always had the same you know uh demeanor about himself when he was mm -hmm. in public or dealing in business and and uh it was a very positive thing in his life i i just can't get over how excited he was during the initial you know training of that and i believe they have extra courses after you know follow-up courses that you can take and mm -hmm. stuff and he did that for years and uh but uh yeah he he made it all the way up uh, the chain a, it's a terrific program yes but uh anyway hey your guy over there at lbw that's the boss man oh well wow, there's so many good things going on at the college tremendous you know that Everybody that's come on here, the mayors, the, mm -hmm. the uh, state representatives, the senators, anytime we bring up you and LBW, they, they get this glow, you know, <laughs> and, and what an asset we have in this community. I've heard it said so many times over and over again. Well, LBW has really made a huge difference in this community. All, all the communities we serve, obviously, with uh, the MacArthur campus in Op and, and the Greenville campus in Greenville and the Luverne Center. You know, everywhere, uh, it's really hard to imagine the community, how, what it would be like if we had not had the college here. And now it's gotten to where industries will locate, and one of the main things they're looking at is, do you have an educated population? Do you have higher education in the community? Do you have training? Do you have customized training? Because we do customized training for business and industry. And I've actually heard of people who've chosen Andalusia to retire because it has, um, well, it's one of the top, was it the top 40 small towns in the United States? Well, the only it's number one, in, one in, in Alabama. It's number one in Alabama. Yeah. Um, and one of the factors for quality of life is having a community college where there are educational opportunities. For top 10. Uh, the mayor will correct us. Yeah, I think it's the only one in Alabama that made that list. Yes, I think it only is. Only small town in Alabama. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just a great quality of life, having cultural activities. And one of the things I want to mention to you, Eddie, and for your listeners, is uh, for your viewers, is that we uh, have a new uh, cultural activity that uh, I had a role in getting started, but we have a, 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 an advisory committee which, uh, which has uh, a number of people from the community and from the college. Um, Mr. Johnny Brewer, who's our music faculty member and uh, co-director of the LBWCC Ensemble, great trumpet player himself, very talented. Uh, he's chairing the advisory committee. Dr. Steve Hubbard, uh, English faculty member, also a uh, fantastic musician, a pianist and organist. He's an organist at First uh, Presbyterian Church every Sunday. Uh, plays for a lot of college and community events, plays the piano. Uh, he's on the committee. Um, <coughs> uh, Paula Haar, who's the um, <coughs> director of the Covington Arts Council. So we have the benefit of her expertise. Mr. Ralph Purvis. He is a retired uh, music faculty member from Wallace Community College in Dothan. 
and his wife happens to be uh, 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 an art faculty member, and I, I need to give her recognition because she designed a logo for the Andalusia Chamber Music Society. Wow. And Dodie Henderson, who's a, a music lover and a, a, a fantastic flute player, and she's, she's on the committee. So we have great support, great community support uh, uh, on this. And what we, what we want to do is bring live classical music, high quality classical music in the form of chamber music. Oh. Uh, why classical music? Well, there's all kinds of music. And this is, you know. Hopsichords? Uh, maybe in the, yeah, we, could, oh, the, could be. The beautiful sounding instrument. <laughs> um, <clears throat> our initial concert, which is coming up uh, a couple weeks from Friday, April 19th in the evening, 7.30 in the evening, uh, will actually feature a harp. A full-size concert harp, wow. flute, and violin. So it'll be a trio. Well, you make sure you get that information to us so we can get it out to the viewers. Okay, we, we, we I mean, will I definitely you did it do today that. And, and, we uh, will definitely do that. But, uh, uh, you know, classic, classical music was cultural back mm -hmm. in. You know, what, well, it's, I, I guess I'm being kind of showing my lack of education, but but uh, the culture is mm -hmm. what brought what we call sure. classic. Sure. And, and uh, the neat thing about it is it's very, um, back then it was used to adjust moods. It was, and it still is. It, what, what's timeless about classical music is it speaks to the heart. That's where I was going to guess. And <coughs> what people used to do, of course, they didn't have television. Exactly. <laughs> And <clears throat> my dad used to say, well, wh what did people do 100 years ago, 200 years ago? They didn't have TV. Mm. They didn't have radio. What did they do? And he said, well, they all died. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually they died. <laughs> but no, they, they found entertainment in other forms. They, um, they would get together. You know, so someone might play the harp, someone might play the flute, another person the violin. So they got together in somebody's home, mm. invited some of their friends, and, and, and made music. You know, and so they'd um, find music that a composer had just published. Um, now, our, our concert coming up is more of the romantic style. So uh, Debussy, uh, E. Bayer, French composers, uh, Claire de Lune, a lot of people will instantly recognize Claire de Lune um, <coughs> from, uh, from, the, from films and, mm -hmm. you know. Um, <coughs> uh, Shenandoah is a, a popular tune that's yes. going to be on, you know. But it's wow. just, it's just a great time to get together. It's a small, it's kind of small setting. The Andalusia Ballet is letting us use one of their rooms at the Church Street Cultural Arts Center, and there will be a reception with the musicians following. So it's a, a one-hour concert. It's something to do on a Friday night, you know, after dinner. That is a wonderful asset that we have over there, too, is the, the Art Center. Oh, absolutely. And, and uh, those folks over there are just wonderful. In fact, I don't know if it's this weekend. I got an invitation. Uh, there's a reception going on over there for some local artists. Oh, uh, good. You know, even our mm -hmm. own Roger Powell, which I didn't mm -hmm. know, uh, was into, you know, being an artist. I mean, well, he is. And let me tell you something about Roger Powell. Oh, tell me, please. Let's, <laughs> let's get this on tape. I want everything I can get on Roger Powell. He is also helping LBW with another project that I am so pleased with and so proud of our faculty and our students. Uh, you see, we have two faculty. Primarily, we have several people on a committee, but Dr. Arlene Davis, who teaches history and psychology, has gotten um, very involved in um, interacting with the, with the Alabama State Archives and obtaining um, items for a small museum that we will host and have permanently on our Andalusia campus for Governor Lurleen Burns Wallace, after whom, of course, the college is named. And <coughs> uh, Ms. Christy White, who's an English faculty member and um, um, chairperson of the Division of Fine Arts and, and, and Languages. She ha is teaching an English course to our honors students. So we have an honors program which is very selective and, w and we have uh, uh, the second year of students, but the first year, who are now there in their second year, they're in her English class and they decided as a special project to write a book. And that book, it's a, it's a booklet on Governor Lurleen Burns Wallace and LBW Community College. And these 
I think there's, a, there's four students, and Emma's White, who are co-authors of this book. It's going to be published by a, by a known publisher, W.W. W. Norton and Company, and uh, will be available to the public. So that's just Critical. a wonderful thing to um, finish your, your two-year college as you're getting ready to transfer to a four-year institution and have your, your name as an author of an actual book that's being published. I'm now, still we waiting to hear about Roger Powell. Well, <laughs> I'm leading up to that, but thanks for the reminder. Roger Powell, I, I, I Roger, Roger Powell agreed to do the artwork for the cover of the oh, book. Okay, there you go. So we I was going it. on a long-winded <laughs> tangent, but I, I did come back to Mr. Powell. We we love Roger. He is now. You you talk about a very, um, I don't know how you call it, very humble, very very. Um, serving individual yes. he, he served this community for years and uh he still serves it in the background i i asked him i said so you're retiring you're going fishing he goes yeah i said you're lying <laughs> <laughs> he's because he, he he's involved in this he's mm -hmm. he's going to be involved in, in in many things in this community and, and uh we have some wonderful people this community uh is is just enriched with with very uh caring considerate individuals i know people get on you know and, and get on this bandwagon but in reality if you look at a whole we have the assets in the community i mean i can go on and list to my you know the the chamber would be a good place to go sit down and listen to ashley talk about it but mm -hmm. but we just the 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 people the the lbw the airport the all these things that we have going for us and we have Great leadership. I just oh. just think of Representative um, Mike Jones. Yep, he's uh, Senator Hawley. They've mm. been great supporters. Um, Mayor Earl Johnson, Mayor Bartholomew Knopf, which I understand you're going to have him on uh, shortly. I'm, I, I hope he's watching. We have been trying to get him. <laughs> a very that, dynamic and individual, and, and he's very uh, busy. I mean, very busy. He's a businessman. Mm. He's uh, has a, a lot of ideas for op, but not just for op. To, for Bring branch you know, out high tech industry to this area. What's nice about it is he doesn't know what the railroad track is. Uh -huh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. And 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 that we've had that conversation, and he ignores that, as mm -hmm. does Mayor Earl Johnson. Mm -hmm. So you know what that could be? Oh, together everyone achieves more. That's right. Team teamwork. T-E-A-M, together everyone achieves more. And and uh, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully, we've got uh, Joe coming on tomorrow. Uh, from JR's Lawnmowers, and uh, uh, he's supposed to hopefully try to nail the, the mayor into coming in with him, and okay. that'll be wonderful to have the mayor from up on. But let's go back to LBW, our shining star in the city of Andalusia and, and in Covington County. Um, there's a lot of work. I saw trucks and stuff out there and people oh, working. Oh, my goodness. What, what's going on out there? Well, uh, we have a private foundation the 501c3 uh, tax exempt foundation, the LBWCC foundation, which exists only to support the missions and activities of LBW Community College. And they have decided, uh, with some input from the college and support from the college, to uh, construct two apartment buildings, which together will house up to 96 students. Wow. And it's going to. Um, for all practical purposes beyond campus, it's not technically campus property because it's private property, but it's just across the walking path, so it's five minutes from classrooms. And um, we have a, a developer that has been contracted to do that and a contractor uh, who is just so dynamic. And I see it every day mm -hmm. because my office is right there. I can see the construction from my office, but they have been working so hard. Last week they poured the foundations after five or six weeks of, of site <coughs> preparation. Today actually uh, they will start erecting the um, <coughs> the framing. Wow. So they're framing starting today and that's not going to take very long. Mm. But these uh, apartments will be available for class when classes start in August. We, we're about to go live with a website which will be linked from the LBWCC website uh, where there will be uh, an approval form, application form, lease contracts, and, and all that. Uh, it's going to be uh, a flat rate of $1,800 for the semester. 
Wow. And there will be a provision made for those students who are on Pell Grant that they can wait to get their, their refund. Right. And uh, they, they sign up for, for nine months you know, for the academic year, so you don't need a lease for a whole year. Um, <clears throat> the arrangement is very convenient for students because these are actually not, not traditional dorm rooms where you have multiple students in a room. Every student will have his or her own room. Wow. They're, they're four to an apartment, so they're really four bedroom apartments, which each, each unit is going to have a kitchen. In, in addition to regular kitchen appliances, there'll be a washer and dryer in each unit. For, in, for all four? Or? Uh -huh. Wow. Uh -huh. So four students will share washer and dryer uh, and two bathrooms and, and a little, little uh, living room sitting area. Um, but uh, it's, it's just going to be very convenient, um, furnished, of course, fully furnished, right. utilities included, actually. In so they're in there for room. nine months, and they get, I, I guess it's $1,800. Is, is for, for a semester. So it's 3600 for the nine months. 3600 for the nine months. So you're looking at $400 a month. Mm -hmm. Where do you find that at? Well, um, <laughs> I mean, you, can't, you, you, could, you could try to find an apartment, but there, there aren't that many. Right. You know, there aren't that many, and then you'd have a room, you know, you could get roommates, but then you have to be responsible, you know, well, if your roommate leaves. And, and you've got power. You you've got, got power, got utilities, water, furniture. Yeah. So this is very convenient, um, and it will allow the college to be uh, more uh, aggressive, maybe, in going after students who are um, <clears throat> from a little bit farther away. We have several programs, Eddie, that are um, the only, this is the only place where you can have them in a, in a radius, maybe 90 mile radius. For instance, our new culinary program. Oh, we're going to have Chef... Uh, Chef Michael Whalen. Yes, on um, next week. Great individual. That was another coup for the college. I hope he brings college. food. Uh, well, I hope he does too. <laughs> but he is a world-class chef. And wow. we are so fortunate to be able to persuade him to leave Arizona and move here with his family. They live in Andalusia. His wife, Donna, is a, a wonderful uh, young lady who's very skilled, and she's in the culinary field as well, and they have a son in high school. But um, he is just so dynamic, and he came here specifically to build the program. So we're, we're planning some expansions there as well, and, 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 and uh, dual enrollment with high school students, so you can be in high school and take culinary. <coughs> but that is a fantastic program. And I can see people coming here from 50 miles away, or from Dothan for that matter, because Wallace Dothan doesn't have a culinary program. So now they'll have a place to, to live, very convenient. Um, same with forestry. We have the only two-year forestry program in the state of Alabama is right here in Andalusia at LBW, and uh, it would certainly help recruit students. And then not only Andalusia, because we have a number of programs in OP at mm -hmm. MacArthur, where students travel to get to. Uh, Eddie Spann uh, heads up our diesel and heavy equipment mm -hmm. mechanics program, and he talks to students regularly from the um, southern part of the state. There's no program like his south of Montgomery between here and, and Mobile. Well, you have a truck driver. Uh, we have truck driver training. Mm -hmm. uh, that is in OP as well. That's a six-week program. Wow. It's, there's a lot going on over there, and a lot, a lot of benefits to, to uh, have LBW in the community. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I don't want Chef to hear this, but uh, we had the choice between the governor of Alabama, Governor Bentley, or Chef Whalen that day. Really? Yeah. Okay. And and I chose Chef Whalen. Well, it was an easy choice, wasn't oh, it? Oh, you betcha. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, that was a joke. Yeah, it's a late <laughs> April Fool's joke. But uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we got to pay a couple of bills, and then we're going to come back. And, and I want to talk about uh, some of the other things that you're involved in. Uh, we haven't had that opportunity. Okay. Uh, you, you, you mentioned that uh, you, you took Dale Carnegie, mm -hmm. and uh, there's other things that you've done in your life for, uh, for personality, mind building, and, and, and uh, physical as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that'd be a perfect time sure. to, to talk about. It. I know you Glad want to. to. Glad to. <laughs> <laughs> but as long as you don't make me look like a pretzel, we're okay. Uh -uh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Boy, that would make that would go viral, as they say on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Ron will be putting it up there just like that. But uh, folks, we'll be back. Keep it real. He got it. <laughs> 
Keep God in it. Once you're here, you know, once or twice, you got it. Keep God in it. We love you all. God bless you. We'll be back with more with LBW and Dr. Rydell right after these messages. Thanks for tuning in. But anyway, welcome back to WKNI TV 25. Good morning to you. And beautiful day out oh, there. Oh, gorgeous. Man, I'll tell you what, well, I'm glad that cold weather is finally over. What do you think they're going to do to that groundhog next year? I don't know, but he's lost a lot of credibility. <laughs> <laughs> I was seeing barbecue menus on <laughs> Facebook. I was like, really? That poor, he, he won't stick his head up next year. They're, they ain't going to see him hide or hair, mm -hmm. literally. Um, but uh, it looks like we're getting around springtime and going right into summer. We are. Yeah. Well, you know how you tell around here when it's summertime? No. When the water's above 73 degrees. Oh, okay. Down in the Gulf. Because okay. after, you know, right now it's still in the 60s, so it's springtime. <laughs> well, we have a lovely spring in mm -hmm. Alabama. Yes, we do. I, I enjoy it. it it's, it's a spring that it, it's not just, boom, it's there. It spreads out over a couple you start of, you know, starting the, the, first, the first signs in February. Mm -hmm. With the daffodils coming up, and then in April you still have the pecan trees mm -hmm. blooming. So, and I'll tell you what, the green on a pecan tree when it's coming out is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I sat back the first time I saw pecan fields or orchards. orchards. Yeah, uh -huh. well, I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting, it rubs yeah. off, folks, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're going to have to come by the LBW Andalusia campus pretty soon because we have all those trees that we planted last year with the uh -huh. landscaping project. You remember it was mm -hmm. kind of a construction site and people said, oh, you're taking parking away from the street. But actually, we added parking elsewhere <coughs> and, and just made the campus more pedestrian friendly. And the city of Andalusia is a great partner, did all the curbs. They, they built that brick crosswalk, which is uh, a raised you know, traffic right. calming, so don't speed through LBW campus or your car might bottom out on it. Um, but it's, it, it's led to a very attractive environment um, with a focus on, on people. You know, being outdoors, we made the sidewalks wider, but we planted about 40 trees, and most of them oak trees along the street. They're about to start blooming um, and, and getting leaves. And then we built a, a patio uh, wh where we're going to do some more work, we're going to have a new entrance into that student center. So it's just going to be, just keeps on getting better. It does. And, well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you never know where time flies to. And I, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the, the uh, other things that you do. Okay. Uh, uh, you're very much into, I call it the martial arts. Martial arts. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> a passion of mine. I, I started with the martial art and sport of judo at age 11. At the time, I was actually living in Egypt, which is a whole other story. Boy, I want to get an interview on that. Do you got pictures and stuff for me, Jim? Uh, a few. Man. Um, I, see but a, I, I see another but, program. But for over 25 years, I've been studying the Japanese martial art of Aikido. I, I now hold a fourth degree black belt in Aikido, as well as a black belt in judo. And I teach it at LBW Community College. Uh, Monday and Wednesday evenings, 6.30 in the Seth Hammett Gymnasium. Uh, new students can start at any time. We do have a new class that starts May 22nd. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a ridiculously low cost. We don't do it for cost, obviously. and We, also, we don't want to compete with anybody who's right. doing it privately. But it's $90 for a semester for, for three and a half to four months of, of training. And we've we have a small class with personal attention. It's an adult class, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, adults of all sizes, men and women, size, age, doesn't matter. It's a good physical and mental program. It is. Yeah, mental and physical balance, self-defense, um, but it's more than self-defense. It's personal development. We're up against time. I, I want to go. I, I really do want to go further into this, but we'll do it another time. Yeah, we will, and and we'd love to have you. You're still we'll on talk the schedule. About, we'll talk about Egypt, and we'll talk yeah. about Aikido. How's well, that? We're, you're still on the schedule for Thursday. You came a you know a couple okay. days early, so if you want to come back Thursday, we can. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I have to check my calendar. Uh, well, I, I got to check mine because I had it wrong, obviously. But uh, we always welcome you here, and and uh, what a fine job of. Uh, work that's going on out there at LBW, uh, one of the greatest assets that we have in this community. Well, thank you. And uh, you're the man over it all. Well, it's a real honor 
for me to be here. This is my fifth year in Andalusia, my fifth year at L LBW, actually my fifth year in Alabama. A wonderful state, great people, um, <coughs> warm reception, and the community support's incredible. But you're right, LBW is a fantastic place. I'm so blessed and honored to be here. Well, with the leadership, with the people that are here, when you said people are great here, I've never, I'm, I'm from Orlando, Tampa, uh, and, and uh, uh, people don't know you there. They just pass by, and, mm -hmm. and nobody knows anybody, and it, it, uh, there's years that you don't even see your neighbor and, and talk to them. Uh, here, there's a lot of warmth, there's a lot of uh, real compassion in this community. When somebody's down, they're all over that, and, and uh, it's, it's just great. But uh, anyway, yes, we agree with you on that. Thanks again for coming on WKNI. We look forward to it. We're very thankful that uh, uh, Miss Le uh, Renee Lanier is is sending over uh, people over there. Do uh, Dr. Hutto, Mr. Hutto uh, mm -hmm. came over and uh, we enjoyed that. There's a lot of feedback off of that that uh, as well. And uh, I'd love to have the folks from LBW anytime on WKNI. It's always a pleasure, Eddie. Pleasure's here. God bless you. God bless you. Keep it real. Keep God in it. We love y'all. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.